Hey Starlings, welcome to this week's vlog from the Director of Nursing. Today is May 25th. Um, and uh, we'll start off with a couple of new announcements for new clients. So we started two clients this week. Um, one's going to be in Burnsville, <clears throat> and that's going to be a longer shift, six or eight hour shifts, um, as or excuse me, four to eight hour shifts. And then we also started another shift that's going to be overnight, and that one's in St. Louis Park. So if you have that availability, you're looking for those longer shifts, please contact Courtney for more information. An update from the HR department. I spoke with Sam today and she says that she's hired three new caregivers for the South Metro office, uh, Burnsville location as well. Uh, and so hopefully next week I'll have some pictures and some faces and I'll be able to introduce our new teammates to uh, everyone. Uh, something to look forward to uh, into probably the end of June, beginning of July. Uh, I'm going to start doing staff competencies. So I'm going to put together a list of dates. There will be about six to eight dates to choose from. Uh, there will be mornings, evenings, and late evenings um, to allow you guys to come into the office and we'll do our annual competency checkoff. Uh, so that's a similar to the stuff that you, uh, the training you went through and with your nursing orientation when you first started. We go through a lot of those annually. Um, to get you checked off for this year. So that'll be coming out. Um, I'll make an announcement in the web uh, either for the week after next or after that to let you know the dates once I got those scheduled. I'll also send uh, the list to Courtney and she'll be calling you to get you scheduled. So look forward to either an email about that or Courtney calling you to get those dates scheduled. Those are mandatory every year. Everyone has to get annual competencies in the office. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me about that. So the next thing I want to chat with you guys about is logging in and out of ABS when you get to your shifts or clocking in and clocking out. Uh, so a lot of the challenges, I've heard a lot of people say that you get there and it won't let you in or it won't connect to the system. And so I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks um, to uh, manage the mobile ABS system. So you're going to log into the website. It's mabs.brightstarcare.com on your smartphone or on the company issued tablet. And then you are going to, the first screen that you're going to log in with your credentials. And then the first screen that will come up is the today's schedule. So you're going to look at that schedule. You're going to click on your uh, login button that will say this is where you're going. This is your client's address. And it's really easy if you do this at the beginning of your day. And you can just click right inside the app. And it will automatically open your G GPS and be able to schedule you or give you a not schedule, give you a, ra a route to get to your client's house. So it makes it really slick. Um, so clocking in, clocking out, if that doesn't work, what you want to do is close your browser and then if you um, if you have a smartphone, you want to completely close out of the browser. So if that's with your iPhone, you're double tapping on the home button and throwing it up um, or closing it out with your Android device, which I'm not familiar with Android, but I know there's a way to do it. So closing it completely. And then reopening the browser, okay, and then um, going back to the website, typing in it again. So that's the first thing to do to try to get it to work. If it doesn't work after that, that's when you're going to call Courtney and say, hey, I'm here at my client's location. I can't clock in the ABS. All right. So this shouldn't happen very often. So if it's happening a lot, I'm going to call you and we're going to work on what's going on. Make sure that we understand what the challenges are with ABS and make sure we can manage some of those challenges. It's so, so very important that you guys clock in and out of these shifts um, because that way we know that you're actually there. Because uh, sometimes what happens if you don't clock in, we get an alert and then we wonder if you're there and we have to call you, follow up with you. So it saves everybody a lot of time if you just go ahead, clock in and out of your shifts. And if you're having trouble with that, go through closing the app out closing the website, trying it again, and if that doesn't work, calling Courtney for some help. So some other news is, uh, so as most of you know, we have the Bloomington office, and then we also have an office in Maplewood. Um, Karina Rother uh, is the director of nursing at that branch, and next week is her last day. Um, and so we're going to be hiring another director of nursing into that position. However, until then, I will be working as a director of nursing for both campuses to fill in until we can find a replacement for Karina. Um, so I will be working a little bit out of the Maplewood office as well as the um, Bloomington office. So I might not have as much availability to as I originally did. Um, but if you need anything, I'll still be available. I'll still have the same phone number and the same email address. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, uh, for either campus. All right, guys, one of the other things I wanted to chat with you about this week is the incentive programs that we provide you guys. So I've noticed looking at the incentive programs, not a lot of people are working on Earn Your Blues. And so Earn Your Blues is a little piece of paper that um, 
Samantha gave to everyone when you did your uh, HR orientation, and it's a way for you to earn extra money each week, and it's really simple to be able to earn this kind of money. So what it is to, to be eligible for this process is you have to have 90 days of employment, so you have to be with us for 90 days, so that's three months. You have to be in good standing at your 90-day review, so that's when we come out and do our uh, in-home assessment. Um, you can't have any complaints filed against you. You're clocking in and out on time, uh, doing those sort of things. And then um, that you follow the call off process. So what that means is that you can have no more than three unexcused absences or called off, calls off in the three months period. Okay, pretty easy to do. So essentially you go to work, you don't call in sick and you get a good review after you've been here for three months. And then what you earn, and so I'll read the program. It says that this is a monthly bonus program uh, to reward caregivers for punching in and out appropriately and remaining accountable for their shifts. What you earn is 50 cent an hour um, for every hour that you worked in the previous month. So you go a whole hour, or excuse me, a whole month, and you've clocked in and out, and you haven't called in sick more than three times, um, and you're in good standing, which means you don't have any disciplinary actions against you. Um, you can earn an extra 50 cent um, for every hour that you worked in the past 30 days. That's pretty awesome, right? So for some, if you're working a 40 hour work week, that's an extra 80 bucks every month that you could get into your pocket. Super easy to get. All you gotta do, show up and work, be on time, don't call in sick, and don't have any performance reviews against you. All right, if you guys have any questions about that program, please feel free to reach out to me by email or to Sam uh, by email or phone. Another incentive that the Bloomington offer, office offers is a weekly shining star. And so Jessica, myself, and Courtney talk about every week uh, the kind of key players or someone that went really above and beyond, or if I'm doing supervisory visits and I hear a lot of really good things about somebody, um, we're going to call that our weekly shining star. And so each week we'll talk about who that is and I'll announce it on the video. And then Jessica will send you a gift card uh, in the mail. All right. And so that's a $5 gift card that'll send to the caregiver every week. That's our shining star. And this week, that shining star is Imani Gray. Amani had a glowing review from four different clients this week when I went to do my supervisory visits and I was able to work uh, with a client with her for uh, about an hour this week and she uh, did a great job interacting with the client and the client loved, that, loved her and said that she was amazing and in fact I believe the client's comments was, were that Imani is smooth as ice. So we appreciate you Amani for being as smooth as ice and you can look forward to that gift card coming to you in the mail this week. All right, so the last one that I'm going to talk about today is the quick shift bonus raffle. And so this is to thank the employees that are willing to pick up shifts in the last minute. Um, and so what we do is we'll enter you into a monthly drawing. So if you get offered a shift uh, to pick up that starts within 24 hours um, of when we ask you to pick it up and you take it, your name will get entered into the raffle drawing, okay? And so this drawing happens every week. Um, and so we're going to draw the names and then the winner of that raffle gets a $15 gift card. So essentially, uh, again, if you pick up a shift that starts within 24 hours of us asking you for it, it's called a quick shift, um, we're going to put your name into a bucket and then each week on Friday we're going to draw names out of that bucket to see who wins an extra $15. And so this week's winner is Wendy Bruns and she is going to win a $15 gift card and that'll be mailed to your home. So thank you Wendy for picking up those last minute shifts uh, and that'll be headed to your house soon. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. I am headed home for the afternoon. I hope you guys have had a good week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to me. Um, I am, as an FYI, going to be out of town for the next week, so I won't be in the office until next Monday. Um, but if you have any questions, you can send me an email, uh, and I will try to respond as I can. Otherwise, call the office and ask to speak to either Samantha, or excuse me, um, Courtney or Jessica. All right, have a great week.